Welcome to the chapter. How many more? How many less? This slide presents the overview of the chapter. Learning Objectives By the end of this chapter, you will be able to Explain how to add and subtract the numbers using beads mala. Represent the numbers. Find the sum and difference of numbers using the number scale. Estimate the numbers nearest to the given numbers. Explain the addition and subtraction of bigger numbers. Let us see the introduction on how many more, how many less. In the previous chapter, we have learnt about beads mala and how to mark the numbers on it. In this chapter, we are going to learn how to add and subtract the numbers using the beads mala. Let us see the addition of two numbers using beads mala. Let us represent the addition of 9 plus 31 using beads mala. Here first we have to count the beads up to the number 9. For the number 31, count the remaining beads in the form of tens and ones. So we get 1 and 3 tens. After counting all the beads, the result is 9 plus 1 plus 10 plus 10 plus 10 is equal to 40. So, the 40th bead is the answer. In other form, we can represent this as 3 tens and 1 1 as shown. That is, 9 plus 10 plus 10 plus 10 plus 1, which is equal to 40. However, the result is the same. Let us see few examples on addition of two numbers using beads mala. Solve 10 plus 25 with the help of beads mala in any form. Here, first we have to count the beads up to the number 10. For the number 25, count the remaining beads in the form of tens and ones. So, we get two tens and five ones. After counting all the beads, let us now add them. The result is 35. Solve 5 plus 30. Here, first we have to count the beads up to the number 5. For the number 30, count the remaining beads in the form of tens and ones. So, we get 5 ones, 2 tens and 5 ones. After counting all the beads, let us now add them. The result is 35. Solve 21 plus 19. Here, first we have to count the beads up to the number 21. From the number 19, count the remaining beads in the form of tens and ones. So, we get nine ones and one. After counting all the beads, let us now add them. The result is 40. Let us see the subtraction of two numbers using beads mala. Let us represent the subtraction of 31 to 19 as follows. Here we have to count the beads up to 31. First, for the number 19, count the beads in tens and ones from the 31st bead in the anti-clockwise direction. Here we get 1 10 and 9 ones for the number 19. Hence the subtraction of 31 to 19 is equal to 12. In other form, it can be represented as 9 ones and 1 10. That is 31 minus 19 is equal to 31 minus 9 minus 10 is equal to 12. Let us do an activity on subtraction of numbers. Drag and drop the appropriate answers into the given fields. Let us see some examples on addition 
and subtraction of numbers using number scale. A. Show 46 plus 61 using number scale. Given numbers are 46 and 61. As we know, 46 lies between 40 and 50. That is not close to 40 but closer to 50. For method 1, as like the beads, mala, we have to count them on the number scale for addition. For method 2, we have to split the number 61 as 4 plus 50 plus 7. Thus, we can do the addition in a simple way as 46 plus 4 plus 50 plus 7, which is equal to 107. B. Show 63 minus 35 using number scale. Given numbers are 63 and 35. As we know, 63 lies between 60 and 70. That is not close to 70 but very close to 60. For method 1, as like the beads mala, we have to count them in anti-clock direction on the number scale for subtraction. For method 2, we have to split the number 35 as 3 plus 30 plus 2. Thus, we can do the subtraction in a simple way as 63 minus 3 minus 30 minus 2 which is equal to 28. Let us do an activity on subtraction of numbers. Observe the following table which represents the prizes won by classes 1 to 5 in the school sports competition and answer the following. Estimation and rounding of numbers. In the previous sessions, we have learned how to add two numbers. Now we are going to learn how to estimate without finding the exact answer. Look at the example which is shown on the screen rounding off the numbers to the nearest 10. For example, 53 is closer to 50 than it is to 60. So 53 is rounded off to 50. Similarly, 57 is closer to 60 than it is to 50. So it is rounded off to 60. Now, let us add these two estimated numbers as shown on the screen. That is, 50 plus 60 is equal to 110. Let us see some exercise problems. Let us discuss about addition and subtraction of bigger numbers. Until now, we have learned how to add smaller numbers. Now we are going to learn how to add bigger numbers by expanding them in hundreds, tens, ones. Let us take two bigger numbers and expand them in hundreds, tens and ones. After expanding them, we should add them as first Add the hundreds, then tens and finally ones. Note, all of them must be added individually. 500 plus 100 is equal to 600. 40 plus 90 is equal to 130. 6 plus 8 is equal to 14. Now, we are going to learn how to subtract bigger numbers by expanding them in hundreds, tens, ones. Let us take two bigger numbers and expand them in hundreds, tens and ones. After expanding them, we should subtract them as first subtract the hundreds, then tens and finally ones. Note, all of them must be subtracted individually. 200 minus 100 is equal to 100. 80 minus 40 is equal to 40. 9 minus 6 is equal to 3. Let us see some exercise problems.
Summary Let us see the highlights of this chapter. In this chapter, we have learned how to add two numbers using beads mala in different forms, representing the numbers on the number scale. We have studied how to add and subtract the numbers using number scale, estimate the number nearest to the given numbers, addition and subtraction of bigger numbers. Practice Joan Try to solve the questions on your own. Click Solution to verify your answers. Follow-up work Solve the following using numbers line A. 45 plus 36 B. 12 plus 69 C. 35 plus 88 Estimate the following and add them A. 121, 168 B. 29, 111 C. 54, 61 Test your understanding of the chapter by taking the mock unit test. You have successfully completed the chapter. How many more? How many less?